Montana, first career start, how did it feel out there? Obviously, you played most minutes you've played so far. Just how did it feel out there? You know, it felt kind of good. or It felt amazing, you know, just being out there, especially just having to step up when one of our players was out. So, you know, it felt good to be there for the team. Well, you know, you set your uh, season high in points tonight. Just what was clicking out there for you? Um, I mean, we just came off of a, a big weekend of losses, so I would just say my teammates, they were looking for me. And I mean, I haven't been playing the best leading up to this game, so just preparing. I've been in the gym a lot, so I pointed to my teammates. Um, how much of a difference did the mask make for you, and yeah. how is it now that it's gone? Yeah, I mean, the mask is definitely not something easy to play with. It was difficult. You really don't have any peripheral vision. And obviously, it showed in my free throws. Uh, I dropped significantly percentage-wise. But uh, taking that mask off was great. It's like a relief. I could breathe. But it's still trying to keep my head out of um, certain areas because it's still broken. So I'm just trying to be smart. And Taya, hey, uh, um, Adidas talked about how you just need time to kind of get back into the groove of things. How are you feeling about that, about uh, feeling like yourself again? <coughs> Yeah, I feel like each game I just progressively get back into playing how I used to, just getting more comfortable out on the court, especially being more comfortable with my teammates and just being able to play in my role like how I did in the past. So I feel like I've been getting better every game in practice, just continuing to grow. And each game you, you do different things, right? Um, whether it shows up in the stat sheet or not. Tonight you played 38 minutes almost the entire game, pulled down 11 rebounds, four assists, five I mean, great stat line. And I know you were stepping up because, you know, ISIS wasn't there, but was, did something else sort of just, does it start at some point to click or feel right or something? Yeah, I feel like a lot of people think about like scoring and before this game I just thought like, go out there and do all the little things, like get those rebounds and just go out and don't really even think about scoring because that's not really my role. So I feel like just thinking about that, like put me in a position to go out there and play how I played tonight. Pauline, you also had a career high at eight assists. And you know, what just what were your teammates doing to get in the right spots? You know, are you guys gelling together better than you were maybe five games, five games ago? I would say, yeah, I mean, we're 10 games in now. We've been practicing with each other for about seven months now, so we're learning each other. But also credit to my teammates because they were finishing every time I was passing them the ball. Um, but yeah, credit to them. You guys set your season high in steals with 15 tonight. Just what stood out about the defense from a team perspective? <laughs> I mean, practice. Uh, if you were to like sit at our practice, it's literally like three hours of defense. So. Again, coming off of this weekend, uh, didn't play our best defense. So these past two days have been working on ourselves and really just taking over that side of the floor. And uh, Adia mentioned that we held them to 11 points in the second half, four points in the fourth quarter. So credit to my teammates because um, we really defended. We defended well in that second half. Uh, so just carrying that on for the rest of the season. So Paulina, even when you went out, <coughs> excuse me, with about five minutes left or something in the game. Taya and everyone else who's still on the court, which is which aren't, she was a starter, but everybody else is not a starter. Yeah. <clears throat> and they were able to continue the defense, right? They got a 10 second violation. They were getting stuff. They were not letting them score. What did you see from all of them during that point? Uh, even the players that do come off the bench, I mean, they're still in practice, practicing with us three hours a day. Um, getting better every day at defense. So, I mean, I didn't get to see what happened in those two minutes, but, I mean, I trust all 14 of our girls to go out there and defend like the starting five does. So, I mean, yeah, I think we did a really great job this game at defending. No. It feels better. <laughs> yeah, it's doing good. Um, you guys had cut down on those turnovers against Cal, but they went back <coughs> up again this, this game. Um, what do you guys have to do? We've asked Adia about what you do in practice, but what do you think you need to do to kind of bring those back down? I would just say being smarter with the ball. Uh, I could say for myself, I forced a couple in the second half, uh, trying to lob it to a post. Um, 
but as a team, just be more disciplined on um, the offensive side and just swinging the ball and just being better with the ball. But uh, as games go by, I think we'll get better at that. Thank you. Thank you.